discussing expectations after the surgery. As soon as the surgery is complete, we will take you to the recovery room. This is where you will wake up. It's not unusual to feel groggy as you're waking up. It's also not unusual to have pain when you're waking up. Your pain is first priority for us. The nurses will be helping you by giving you pain medications that go through your veins and control your pain. You'll also notice a lot of tubes and lines coming out of your body. Once you've recovered, you'll be taken to your room. Over there, your nurse care team will help take care of you day to day. The most common question we get from patients is, what do they get to eat and when do they get to eat it? The first day after the surgery, we'll start giving you some ice chips in small and measured amounts. The next day afterwards, we'll start giving you some liquids. After that, we will be asking you every day, have you passed gas? This will help us to know that your guts are starting to move again and we can start feeding you regular and solid foods. It's very, very important to us that you're able to walk every day. Regular walking will help you control your pain and also help your breathing. Additionally, it'll help your gut start to wake up faster. You'll also have an apparatus to help you breathe and keep your lungs open. This is known as an incentive spirometer. We will encourage you to use the incentive spirometer three to four times every hour to help your breathing. You will have an incision below your belly button. If you've undergone a robotic surgery, you may also have several smaller incisions across your belly. This is what we call port sites, used for cameras and instruments. Your incisions are generally closed with absorbable sutures on the inside, which may not be visible to you at all. Sometimes there will be glue on the incisions, but will go away on its own over a period of time. Sometimes there will be strips or bandage-like strips, which also fall off on their own over a period of time. If we have used clips to close your skin, we will be removing these at your post-operative visit. Don't worry, taking them out is not painful. If you've had an ileal conduit diversion, you will notice a stoma on your right side. We would have showed you where we have marked this before your surgery. The stoma sticks out of your skin like a thumb. It's usually pink or red in color and has a bag on top of it. The bag is collecting the urine. It's not unusual to see some blood tinged urine or also some mucus that's coming out from the stoma. The stoma will also have two tubes sticking out of it which are known as stents. These stents are going all the way into your kidney and helping the repair that we've made open and helping your urine drain outside of your kidney into the conduit bag. You'll also have a drain on your left side. We call this the JP drain. This drain is just siphoning fluid from inside of your body to the outside. We're making sure that there is no urine leaking from the areas where we made the connection. The drain that's coming on the side of your body will come out before you leave the hospital. The stents will come out at your post-operative visit with us during follow-up. There will be several people involved in your care during the hospital stay. This will include the surgeons, the residents, and the nurses. The physical therapist will come by and work with you every day. They will help you move, walk, and also gain strength. The occupational therapist will come by and see you as well. They will help assess your needs as you go back towards your home. What you need in your bathroom, how you can get up and down stairs, how are you able to walk. There will also be a case manager assigned to you to help you meet all of those needs as you're going home or towards a physical rehab center.